Hello again, it's me, JD, still trying to run for president. I do need your help, but before we go any further, I want to talk to you about one thing that I perceived our government doing and which I will try to correct. One is, what is our government doing? It is constantly competing among itself. You have the president or the executive branch and you have the legislative or the Congress and Senate. And they are competing among each other. Their own little kingdoms trying to prove which one is better, which one is for whatever, and on and on. A constant competition, not working together. Well, as president, I'm going to put uh, basically try to put an end to that. Notice I said try to, because what we got to do is first look at our government. What is the purpose of our government? First, how many governments do we have? Do we have three separate governments? No. We have one government, just one, and it's broken down into three individual groups, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial. But they are to work together to enhance and improve the individual lives while protecting the privileges and rights of the American citizen. It, yes, the American individual. Not the European, not the African, not the Asian, not the Australian, not South American, not even North American. The United States of America, their citizens alone, to enhance and improve their lives. That should be first and foremost in our government and they should work together. Not fight each other trying to get credit for this or credit for that because they accomplished nothing. So what is my goal as president is to get our government to work together as an individual government, one government, towards the goals of improving your life. How can we enhance? How can we improve your right life? How can we make your life better? Remember, a government is to serve its people, not a people to serve its government. And that's what we need to look at. We need to see how to bring our Congress, our Senate, and the executive branch and judicial into one government again not three separate governments. They are separate, yes, but they're only one government. And they have totally combined only one function, to improve your life, to protect you, the American citizen, not the rest of the people in the world. You should be the first and foremost concern of our government, not the rest of the world. You and your lifestyle how can they improve it? How can they secure it? How can they make it better? That's the purpose of our government. Yes, we as Americans have to work together for our government, but our government has to work for us also. Our government is too busy trying to prove one branch is better than the other branch. They're fighting each other. They're constantly pitting themselves, afraid that one group would get the credit from the other group. Listen to McCain, listen to Obama. If you take everything they say and put it together, it's a beautiful package. But each one of them is fighting each other, trying not to look like each other, trying to be different, trying to do this, do that, and yet go against the other, which doesn't enhance our government. The only way we can move forward as a nation is we need to have a single government. Three separate branches, but a government who has one goal in mind. How to improve the lifestyle of the American citizen. What can we do to make your world better as a government? That is going to be one of the main goals of my presidency to bring all three branches together towards one single goal so that we will work together as a single government but still have three separate branches. The checks and balances is so that we don't go amok, so we don't do things wrong, so that we can find our mistakes and fix them before we do them, which didn't happen with Iraq. That's how come we're in a war we should never have been in. Congress and the Senate did not check the president. 
we were all in that frenzy about 9-11 and boom, we were going headstrong instead of looking at things and saying, whoa, wait a minute, how is this going to help the American people? How is it going to make their life better? Instead, instead, we got American soldiers in a foreign country fighting a foreign war which should be fought among Iraqis, not with Americans. But it is, and we messed it up, so we need to straighten up our mess. I will agree with that. But that is a, a good example of our government going amok, and that's what it's been doing. Our Congress has accomplished very little of anything in the last several years. Our presidency has accomplished very little of anything in the last several years. Our judicial branch is getting way off in left field somewhere. Just coming out and trying to tell people how they're going to live inside their home, never mind how what the government should do and how what is constitutional and non-constitutional. So basically, we got three separate governments trying to work as three separate governments when they're not. We only have one government, and that one government needs to start focusing on what we need to focus. And as president, that's what I will do. As a leader of this country, I will have our country, our government, focus on you, the individual. How can we make your life better? How can we enhance your lifestyle while still protecting your rights and privileges? And also, remember, I need your help. Without you, people, it's not going to happen. None of this is going to happen. These videos, I might as well just be making them and showing them up against a wall. I need you people to get behind me. I need some people to get like the Obama girl and run YouTube. I need for you people to go on YouTube. Spread the word. I need for you people to go out there and spread the word about J.D. Cravo for president. You're going to make it happen. All I can do is tell you how I feel and what I want to do. I need your help to make it happen. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Remember, this is J.D. Cravo on YouTube. And remember, I also have a MySpace. And you can email me at jcriveau at aol.com. Thank you. Have a nice day. Remember, I need your help.